What do you get when you take a North End institution, an athlete owner with a passion for pasta, pasta, I mean, how can you go wrong? And a world-class chef who's bringing something different to the neighborhood. Run it, please. Ray Book special in the window. You get one delicious hat trick. At Tresca on Hanover Street, they're still serving all of the dishes customers have loved for over a decade. But now they've added some fun shareable plates as well. It's all because Boston Bruins legend and co-owner Ray Bork decided to draft chef Rich and Sarah to his team back in Tresca's kitchen. Well, Tresca's been here for about 11 years and we felt it was time for a revamp, kind of give it a breath of fresh air and change the menu. And not only is the menu Tresca 2.0, but also the decor has received a reboot as well. I think we have one of the best locations on Hanover Street. We have a couple of floors. We have a beautiful wood bar downstairs. It's been very well received by the customers. I try and hit every single table that comes in, sit with the customers, specialize what they would like. People seem to like that. You can start your meal with big plates of antipasto loaded up with meats, cheeses, olives, and more, and beautifully fried artichokes topped with a lemon creme drizzle. But now you can also feast on some non-traditional items like the nachos bolognese. They're not your traditional nachos. We'd fry some corn tortilla chips, smother in mozzarella cheese, and bake them, and then i top it with my homemade bolognese sauce and a homemade whipped ricotta with sliced cherry peppers. You probably wouldn't want to have your normal nachos after trying these. And you won't find a South Shore style bar pizza like this anywhere else in the North End. They look great, they taste even better. We cook them a little on the well done side so you get a nice crispy brown crust and I kind of put two layers of cheese on it. One layer on the bottom, the ingredients, another layer on top. It looks beautiful and eats really nice. The meatballs are a dish Rich has been perfecting for many years. Made with ground veal and sirloin and stuffed with cipollini onions, fire roasted peppers and plenty of mozzarella. They're giving nannies all over a run for their money. Well, I've been told by several people that they're better than their grandmother's meatballs. I try and tell them to calm down a little bit that they're really not, but a close second is good enough for me. For some truly all-star eats, there are two dishes on the menu special enough to bear the Bork name. Bork. Great. <laughs> Number 77. There's the shrimp a la Bork, served in a roasted garlic oregano cream sauce, and the veal parmesan Bork style, carbo loaded with a side of pasta bolognese. Right now, we're making uh, Ray Bork's favorite go-to dish, classic veal parm. We use top round veal, pound them nice and thin, season breadcrumbs, pan fry all our cutlets. Get it nice and brown. This is our pomodoro sauce. Then I put a blend of three different cheeses, mozzarella and provolone blend, grated grana parmesan, and then I top it with a little dry oregano and then we bake it. I grew up playing hockey so I ate a lot of pasta. Those carbs were so key uh, to my success and to give me the energy that I needed. But don't look on the menu for this meal. This is a secret for Ray and his fans only. It's not on the menu but if you ask for the Ray special we'll gladly make it for you. Other pasta standouts include the plate tipping portion of seafood fra diablo served over spaghetti with big chunks of lobster on top. And for all that craveable crustacean stuffed inside pasta, order the lobster ravioli in a sun-dried tomato cream sauce. You get the combination of the nice lobster broth, the cream sauce, some sun-dried tomato in there, and the nice chunks of lobster meat inside the ravioli. It's a beautiful dish. Lobster continues its way through the menu, served on top of a perfectly cooked filet mignon and topped with a lemony tarragon bernays and for a cut that's a true showstopper get the 14 ounce grilled veal chunk it's a beautiful french bone in rib chop we grill it and then we finish it with a little veal demi glaze some sauteed wild mushrooms and a little citrus i think it's the best in the city and the only thing sweeter than desserts like the coconut chocolate pecan bread pudding is enjoying all of this great fare at tresca's famous table 77. table number 77 is the most romantic table in boston it looks over hanover street it's a table for two private just you and whoever you want to bring as a guest that's a very special table but no matter where you sit, these guys want you to walk out happy. My biggest thing is I want them to have a personal experience. People love coming in and knowing the chef. I love going to the tables, going off the menu, and we just have a lot of fun with the food. You're going to have a great meal. You'll be served right, and you'll come back, I promise you.